So welcome to Doom at Rancho Corazon here in Todos Santos. So here is our entrance. We came into this uh, beautiful uh, palm grove and the idea was really to maintain the essence of the place. What is Todos Santos now? The oasis. So I hope you can enjoy this little tour. One of the things we are very proud of here is uh, we really walk around all the palms and we didn't remove uh, that much palms. So as you can see, all the paths are between the palms, all the tables, uh, the swimming pool is because we have these uh, big uh, spaces over there. And it really went together when we, when we start building this place. And the idea of the swimming pool was to put it a little bit higher. So you got a different feeling when we are in between the palms. You, you got uh, a very different feeling, like you're like floating in, in the water. Everything has been produced locally. The wood and, and all the decks have been uh, produced locally. And this is our, our first time in this project to, to work basically with only local people or what we can do that really reflects the essence of Todos Santos. Fun thing about the changing room is we really use uh, the techniques that is used here in Todos Santos uh, to build houses. So you can see the Palo de Arca, the Palapa. We try to make it uh, fun but also to respect what uh, was the technique buildings. So in this property we had horses but the idea is that we're going to keep the horses uh, into the place because they were here before, before us and make a nice place for them to, to be able to enjoy the place. So as you can see, there's plenty of spaces. We can be very creative about what we're doing because it's going to be like, uh, uh, we can do at the ranch, we can do like a more beach club. We wanted to really keep the essence of the place. Of course, make it comfortable, make it uh, enjoyable, but really keep the authenticity. And, and I think in the kitchen, you can really feel it. Like the cuisine of the chef is really authentic. We, we talk about product. He's got a sentence that I really love, which is, um, the good food is the food that tastes like it is. Todos well, Santos is a magical place. If you speak about kitchen, about cuisine, we are very lucky. Mexican people, American people, French people, Italian people, I think so, it's very interesting. It's like a melting pot, we can say. <laughs> the menu works. It's each week we propose the five course or three course menu. And uh, we change every week. And like to give a full experience with the Bar California product. And for me the challenge is that we are 52, 52 weeks in the year. I have to find 52 ways to surprise the people. And that's that's a very nice, a very interesting way to propose that kind of gastronomy in Todos Santos. My name is Alexandre, I'm the sommelier here in Doom. I was born in Paris, but I started to work on the French Riviera for 15 years. And now I, uh, I'm glad and proud uh, to show you my, uh, my wine selection uh, in this fabulous place. So we will start about the Mexican wine. So Ensemble, it's a, um, it's a winery in Valle de Guadalupe. 85% of the uh, Mexican wine products come from Baja California. So Ensenada, exactly. They have in Ensenada a very similar climate had in uh, Napa, actually. And that's one of the best area to make uh, wine in Mexico. And this one is made in Valle de Guadalupe. 2016 uh, Arenal Ensemble, so it's uh, a blend, a big blend. You have got some Zinfandel, some Grenache, some Syrah. Now I'd like to speak a little bit about sparkling wine and actually I'm very proud to find this uh, champagne because it's not a very popular and common champagne. Jackson Extra Brut QV uh, 741. So. I will say it in French, but it's uh, a QV uh, 741, a great uh, champagne winery, Jackson. That's maybe the easiest word for the American to say Jackson. So that's why maybe that's a very good uh, uh, idea to have this kind of products here, because it's maybe easier to say than Veuve Clicquot. As you heard, I've got a big French accent, so I can uh, easier speak about the uh, French wine from Angers. It's in the Loire Valley. It's close to the Loire uh, River. Thierry Germain L'Insolite. So uh, amazing uh, uh, grapes, 
uh, maybe the king of the grapes in Loire Valley for the white wine. With the Sauvignon, but Chenin, it's a great uh, grapes variety for this area. So that's L'Insolite. I love my selection. Even if it's not the best, it's my selection. I love my selection. In the three dishes we have here, is uh, we have right now for uh, the menu of the dinner, we have the starter, the fresh starter. Now this week we get some oyster from uh, north of La Paz. It's from Baja California. We get some frise of pescadero, some Armenian pepino, very juicy, very fresh, some green apple, some avocado, some dill, and it's very fresh for starting the, the dinner. It's very, very nice. And we're going to follow with the fish. Now this week, they come from uh, Punta Lobo. We receive every day fresh and we do like a stuffed cabbage. The cabbage is from Pescadero with a little bit of tarragon and we do a sauce with a langoustine and some fresh vegetable of Pescadero. In the very light sauce, star zucchini, some a little chutney, carrot, tomatoes, green tomatoes. The guy who did the lamb, I know him since two years now, San Pedro in the way of La Paz and it's a very nice, nice product because we try to keep to 80% of local product in our plate. We can get the acelgas they are from Pescadero, the rabano, and we finish with the sweet fried sweet potato on the top to die like a crunchy and to keep like, like the garden like we want. Now that plate comes from the Sierra, from a little ranch in San Blas. Who we find that lady who's doing a very nice plate. And that plate are from Todos Santos, this is his hobby. And uh, she started to do some plates for the for the restaurant, and I think so the result. I don't have nothing to say. It's beautiful. Next week we will see what we're going to do, what we're going to get from the garden. It's it's kind of exciting. In the kitchen we have people from the town. We are here. I, I work since one year now. We are in Todos Santos. We try to hire local and always looking for bringing people from Todos Santos and Barra California. That's important for us. We work like a family, uh, growing. No? We always try to give them different responsibility, to move them from position. They never stay in one position. So they can really learn about everything. And so they can grow with us. We've been very lucky with the chef and myself to be uh, traveling around the world doing this, uh, this job, hospitality. And I think it's a great opportunity for everyone uh, when you get the knowledge of the service that you can really do it everywhere. All our waiters are from Todos Santos. Most of them never work in a restaurant. This is what we wanted to create. And also we wanted to have our uh, identity from Todos Santos, you know, like the, this genuine service or this genuine uh, personality that people have here. I'm lucky to be in Mexico because actually the people who, le who live here uh, love to learn about everything. So we do a lot of training for all the person to maybe share a little bit more about my culture because that's the wine, it's uh, not only the French culture, but in France that's a big culture. So I love to, to share about it and for me it's easiest. So explain how this one came. Actually, it was a bit uh, strange. We had a small restaurant during the pandemic and uh, one day we decided to change completely and we had dinner with a friend and he told me like, I've got a very nice property in Torre Santos, we should have a look at. And we came here in the morning and with this light that you can see, it was just amazing. 